Hello and welcome to this week's Trending Beauty and Fashion. Unfortunately, I don't have any trending fashion to share with you this week, but I did want to remind you of last week's really cute trending crew neck sweater from Target. Mine came in super cute. It's super warm and fuzzy. The weather here has dropped into the 30s and this has been like the perfect sweater. So I've been absolutely loving it. It's super fluffy and it's super warm. It comes to a low crop and an adorable cute little crew neckline with navy stripes. So if you're still looking for that, I know the sizes online are super limited, but go into your Target because I was just at our local Target this week and there were several sizes still in stock if you're looking for it. All right, let's move on to the trending beauty. We have a couple pressed serums that I want to share with you. This one is what's actually trending, but I also have another one I want to share with you because the one that's trending is very pricey and my alternative, not really a dupe, is a much better budget buy, a complexion product and then two Chanel gift sets, limited edition gift sets that are trending. Also a little pricey, so I have some options that are a little more budget friendly for those as well. All right, let's talk about these serums. I love serums. I am not as fond of a pressed serum. They're very condensed, usually very balm, oily textures, but in the winter, pressed serums can be a lovely option. So the first one that's actually trending at $105 is the Maya Chai, the Super Blended Press Serum. This is a beautiful blend of botanicals. It has vitamin C ester. It is a lovely serum, but it is pricey. It has butters, it has oils, it's rich. I bet it's beautiful. It probably has a gorgeous scent, but at $105, that's kind of pricey. I like my serums to range between maybe $50 and $75, the $105 price range is a little bit up there for me, but I found one that I think you would also enjoy. It's not a dupe, but it's also a pressed serum and it's by Blythe. It's the Tundra Chaga Press Serum and it's made from a mushroom extract base. And mushrooms are very hydrating, very nourishing to the skin. And I think you might enjoy this. It's more of a gel-like texture. It's not that hard balm solid oil texture. So it's a little looser and more of a gel formulation, but I think you would appreciate that at between $40 and $20. Olive Young currently has it on sale for $20 and the average price is around $40. So that's what I recommend for a lovely press serum. And you could give either of these as a gift in a little bag, great stocking stuffer. Let's move on to the limited edition Chanel gift sets. The first is the Genius Lip Gloss Trio. These are very shimmery lip glosses. They have a couple mauves, a light mauve and a darker mauve, and then kind of a honey color. I am not really into shimmery lip glosses. These look lovely and they come in at about $100, which is a lovely gift. Definitely a cute stocking stuffer, but I have an alternative for you and you'd have to buy your own little bag to put them in. But I really love the iMethod lip glosses. So for about $40, I think they're like 13 dollars or 12 dollars you get three of them for about $40, get a little gift bag, and it wouldn't be quite as chic as the Chanel Trio lip glosses, but still really a nice gift. So that's your, my budget option at around $40 versus the $100 Trio from Chanel. The next is another little trio from Chanel. Actually, this is a duo, my mistake. It's their little hand and balm duo, and it's called the Rouge Coco Balm Hydrating Conditioning Lip Balm, along with the Creme La Main Texture Riche Hand Cream. All right, these are a cute little set. I'm not gonna deny it, but as you know, Chanel has fragrance. I'm not really a fan of fragrance, especially my hand creams. When I'm touching things or eating and bringing things toward my face, I just don't wanna smell perfume. So me personally, my budget option is the Trader Joe's Hand and Body Cream. I love this. It is nourishing. It is just, it's fragrance free. It's, you get a lot huge bang for your buck. I think it's like $12 for this entire tube. This is 16 full ounces. Nothing like the gorgeous luxury product from Chanel, but I just wanted to give you that as the option that we use. And instead of their Rouge Coco Balm Hydrating Lip Balm, which looks like a very lovely lip balm, but also fragranced, I am going to show my two budget options. This is one my husband really likes. This is the Mad About You Nourishing Lip Conditioner. These sit by our bed and I am a Laneige fan. I know their lip mask isn't for everyone, but we have these by our bedside, put them on each night, and we love these more budget-friendly options. So if you needed a very bougie gift, then I would definitely run out and get the Chanel little on-hands essential kit. But if you want a budget option, maybe not, 
as bougie, but I think your you, your recipient would definitely appreciate this as well. Maybe you could decant this into some sort of bougie uh, little glass bottle or something. I don't know. But that was what I was thinking. I don't think I'd actually spend that much money, even for a friend or a stocking stuffer or a family member. I don't know. So those are my ideas for the, the dupes or replacements for the Chanel On Hand Essentials Kit. The last trending beauty item is a complexion product. It's actually a retrend. It's the Westman Atelier Vital Skin Care Complexion Dew Drops. That is a mouthful. They were trending about a month ago when they first came out, and they are now retrending. I was wanting to get my hands on these for a while now, and I waited for the Credo 20% off Friends and Family Sale that they have once a year, so I picked them up last week and was hoping they would be here by now, but they are not. I wanted to share them with you on camera, but I will save them for a get ready with me, and I definitely will share my thoughts on it, but I wanted to just give you kind of what the reviews out there are saying, and they were a little disappointing. I'm surprised after a month that this isn't getting higher reviews, but it's a very liquid product. It's basically skincare and complexion in one, one of those sort of hybrid products. So I wasn't surprised to hear the reviews that are complaining that it's not suitable at all for oily skin. Definitely doesn't really set up well, kind of leaves that greasy, shiny look. Not surprised at all, just given the formula. And I'll list some of the key ingredients here and you can check them out. But it's basically skincare and a foundation, a very light, sheer foundation in one. And that was the other complaint that it doesn't have high coverage. But I think if you purchase this, you would kind of know, given the formula, that it wasn't going to give you a lot of coverage. So it is very sheer coverage. It's great for dry skin. Another comment that I saw online is that it squirts out or the dispenser is very finicky. So watch out for that. If it squirts out, maybe move it away from your clothing because they were saying that it was splattering and staining their clothing. So that's not good. And the other negative comment that I saw online is it tends to pill when you first apply it, which is never a good thing, especially when you're spending $68. This is not a cheap complexion product, $68 on a foundation. I guess this kind of middle of the road is definitely not budget, but that was kind of disappointing. It's one of my big bugbears that when products pill. So I was really disappointed to hear that it was actually pilling. So if you've used this, I really want to know down below what your experience is, is with this, because it all, always depends on what skincare you're using before you apply your foundation, whether you get pilling or not. And this doesn't look like it has a lot of dimethicones in it. So I was a little bit surprised at that review. So that is a wrap up of this week's trending beauty and fashion. Like I said, I'm adoring my sweater. Absolutely love it. I'll show you pictures of it here with my jeans and the shoes that I'm wearing today. It's not exactly a crop top, but it also is not a very low sweater. It sort of sits right at the hip. Cute little crew neckline. Absolutely love it. It's keeping me very warm in these very cool fall days. So I hope you enjoyed today's wrap up of fashion and beauty trends. Wishing you a wonderful and skintastic day. Take good care.